guys, it's your girl Sammy here, back at it again with another Roblox video, and in today's video, I am finally going to be showing you how I render my Roblox characters. This has been so highly recommended, and you guys have been wanting me to make this video for a long time, ever since I made my How I Make My Thumbnails video, it's been so highly requested, so I'm going to be finally showing you how I render my Roblox characters. I'm sorry for the long wait, but I just had so many other videos planned, and I finally decided to make it today all right so without further ado let's get started with this tutorial so the first thing you're going to want to do is go over to a roblox studio and open it now if you don't have roblox studio like if you have roblox you should already have roblox studio so if you play roblox you should have roblox studio so make sure to open that so now that you're on roblox studio make sure to log into your account um, if you're not logged in, I'm pretty sure you just go up to this and then it'll say log in. For me, it says log out because I'm already signed in. As you can see, here's my Roblox username. And then next, what you're going to want to do is go over to base plate. So just click on that. Wait for it to open. Um, my computer takes a while because my computer is quite slow. And I have a bunch of programs opened all at once. And it tends to lag. So I hope there's no lag in today's video. Um, so once you have the base plate open, it'll literally just look like this. Nothing on it, just a base plate. So now you want to render your Roblox character, right? So you're going to want to go over to test. And then hit play. So yeah, just click play. And then it'll load a little bit or maybe for you it'll just like load in right away for me it always takes a while so as you guys can see here's my roblox character and it is now loaded on the base plate now it's really easy to actually save this to your desktop so that's the next thing you're going to want to do so go over to this workshop and click the arrow right beside it and then you'll see a roblox character with like a bunch of blocks beside it that's what you're going to want to click on so right click on that and then go all the way down to export selection all right and then it'll open up um this all right so um you can change where you want it to save to i usually like to save it to ro my roblox videos which i know it's really weird um but like i don't know i'm just so used to doing that i should probably just make a separate folder um and just save it there but what i'm actually going to do I'm gonna save it to my render blender folder because I feel like that makes the most sense. So yeah, just you can either save it to your desktop or a folder. I recommend saving it to a folder. And then it's easier just to keep track of where everything is. So yeah, just do that. And then you can name it as whatever. I'm gonna name it as tutorial. I'm honestly not even sure if I spelled that right, but yeah, we're gonna name it as tutorial. And now we're gonna click save. And then boom, you have your Roblox character in that folder. So you could just literally click out of that. So we're going to go over to this and um, you can save it. But usually what I like to do is just click no because I don't need this anymore. So I just go to no and then it brings me back to my desktop. So next thing you're going to want to do is open Blender. So Blender is the program that I use to render my Roblox characters. Um, if I can, I'll leave the download link in the description down below. It was so complicated for me to download it the first time it didn't work. I myself had to watch a tutorial in order to actually um, know how to use Blender. I just recommend taking your time and don't get frustrated if you don't get it. And um, it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. So it's kind of confusing. For me, it was really confusing on how I downloaded it because the first time it didn't work. So it was really confusing. I'll leave the link in the description down below if I I can and yeah you guys can just go there and download blender if you don't see the download link i recommend watching create crafts tutorial he actually made a great tutorial which is the tutorial that i watched in order to actually learn how to use blender let's just go ahead and click on blender so now that you're on blender it should look like this you might have a different picture that doesn't mean anything um i'm pretty sure it's different for some people um it might be i'm not sure um, this is Blender 2.79, so yeah, I don't know if there's a difference. I don't know if there's like different versions or something. I don't know, but that's the version that I have. And so now you're just gonna click on the screen and then that will go away. And then next, there's actually two ways to do this. The way that I do it is I just hover over the circle and then click delete on my keyboard. So just click delete. And then there you go, the square's gone. So next what you're gonna wanna do is go over to file and then go all the way down to import and then go down to OBJ. Once again, go over here, top left, 
click on file and then go all the way down to import not export but import and then you're going to want to go down seven starting from the first one so one two three four five six seven and then it'll bring you to wavefront obj so then you're going to click on that and then it'll take you to this now this is how you actually get your roblox character into blender wherever you saved it to make sure to go to that folder i saved it to the render blender file which is on my desktop so um you're just gonna want to go over to that and i just click desktop and then uh, render blender and there it is there will actually be two that pop up you're gonna want to click on the one that says whatever you named it dot obj if it doesn't say obj then you might have done something wrong in the process um and there should be another one up here that says dot mtl you're gonna want to click the obj one so that's how you actually do it so go ahead and click on that it'll turn orange and then go to import obj Alright, so now your Roblox character is in Blender, but you're probably wondering why it's all white. So you'll see that there's this little tiny plus on the side over here, and this next step is going to actually allow you to see the colors in your Roblox character, so go ahead and click on that. And then if you go down, you'll see that it says Texture Solid, click on that, and then boom, your Roblox character is now colored. If you want accurate instructions, I really recommend watching another tutorial by Createcraft. I'll leave that in the description down below. It really helped me, um, but a lot of people have been recommending this, so that's why I decided to make my own tutorial. Um, but anyways, so yeah, go ahead and click on Texture Solid, then you will finally see your Roblox characters' colors and stuff like that, so everything looks normal. Um, it will be highlighted, that's completely normal. And then you're also going to want to click on Ambient Inclusion. Um, hopefully I pronounced that right, I don't know, but you're gonna want to click on that, and you'll notice a slight difference, it's a little bit darker. I'm not sure if you have to click on this. When I was watching Creecraft's tutorial, um, this was like in the steps on how to render, so I just decided to keep on using that and i think it looks fine to me and i feel like it's kind of like just a bit of shading and stuff so i kind of like that and then nextly what you're going to want to do is this is how you make it transparent if you want to put it on a thumbnail it will be transparent instead of having a background so go over to shading it's literally right beside it go over to shading and then over here where it says sky click on that there will only be two options so it'll say transparent and sky it's selected on sky but you're going to change it to transparent and then boom now it's transparent and you're all good okay so the next step is very important um at least i think it is because i tried not using this step like i tried you know seeing what would happen if i didn't use this step and it turned out really weird like my whole roblox character was black you couldn't see really any colors so i definitely recommend paying attention to the next step so what you're going to want to do is click on this little world um icon so right now you'll be on the camera and then just go over three one two three to this world over here okay so the next thing you're going to want to do is go down and click on ambient inclusion and hopefully i'm pronouncing these things right because i don't even know um so yeah just go ahead and click on that and then once you click on it there will just show a check mark which means that it is selected you're also going to click on these two environment lighting and indirect lighting and i honestly don't know what this does because as you guys can see if you click on and off it doesn't really make a difference like it doesn't show a difference but trust me you're going to want to click on this because it will change your roblox character if you don't i mean you can go ahead and try it out for yourself i tried it and it made it look like literally just pitch black and there was no color no face no nothing and now we're steps away from actually rendering the character so next thing you're going to want to do so this thing back here is actually like a camera so you're going to right click on that then it will turn orange and then it will have like a bunch of arrows and stuff like that but once it is selected then just click zero on your number pad and then it'll take you to this so while editing i came to the conclusion that maybe not everybody has a number pad on their keyboard so if you don't there's another way to do it so once your camera is selected you know it's selected once it turns orange and then you're going to go down to view right over here click that and go to camera and that's another way to open the camera if you don't have the number pad on your keyboard then next thing you're going to want to do is click shift and f at the same time on your keyboard so shift and f and now you can actually finally move around the camera all right so now what you're going to want to do is press w to go forward d to go sideways it's basically just the same way that you use roblox or what i actually prefer is using the arrow keys i don't know why 
like even sometimes when i play roblox i use the arrow keys so i definitely recommend using the arrow keys it works a lot better for me but it's the same as when you use roblox w a s d and then click on e to go up and q to go down so once again w to go forward a to go left d to go right s to go down i mean s to go back um q to go down and e to go up and then another thing just use your mouse to go up and down just to get like the perfect angle that you want so this part is kind of hard to explain but basically once you get used to the controls and stuff then just face it to your roblox character because obviously i mean whichever way you want it if you want the side of a roblox character then you can angle it from the side, but obviously most people want the front of your Roblox character. So you're just going to want to angle it from the front. You can go however close you want. <laughs> and it's really cool because it's so much 3D than just, you know, taking a screenshot and then just, you know, plopping it on the on the background i don't know why i find it so fascinating that it's 3d i don't know i'm weird um but anyways you're going to want to position it to whatever um just pretend like you're taking a picture of somebody and you want it to be straight and stuff like that so just angle it to however you want so i kind of want it to go up a little bit more now i want it to go down it may be different for other people but this is how i render um but now once you finally get the perfect angle i'm just gonna back up a little bit go in a little bit and this is like the perfect angle except i want to go a little bit more to the right all right and then a little bit more back and now I finally got the perfect angle. I never really put in the whole body, but if you guys want the body, just go back and you can have the whole body in it. The part that's in orange is the only part that will be selected. So if you go like this, that it's only gonna show the bottom and the top, like the shirt and the pants. If you go like this, it's only gonna show like the eyes and the face of the koala, if you guys understand. So make sure that um, everything is in the light gray area and if it's in the um outside where it's darker it's not gonna select that part it's not gonna work so make sure that it's all in this area now simply once you get the right angle there you go i like that once you get the right angle go ahead and click enter on your number pad now you won't be able to move anything other than your mouse and stuff so the camera won't be moving anymore so make sure you like the way that it looks and then press enter because i've done that so much and then yeah i didn't like the way that it looked all right so i like the way that it looks i kind of changed up the angles and stuff like that so it may look a little bit different than before and then if you want to undo anything or go back um if you go to history then you can undo and redo and undo and redo and stuff like that so i find that really handy because sometimes i don't like the way it looks so i could just go back and then simply you're going to want to go over to the camera the camera will be on the top where all these icons are just to let you guys know so just click on the camera and then go down to render and then there you go you finally have your roblox character rendered it looks 3d it looks awesome the lighting is perfect and I think it looks really good. So now you're going to go to image and then save image. And then save it to literally wherever you want. I tend to save it to my desktop now. Like before, I never used to save it to my desktop. But I save it to my desktop. It's so much easier for me. So I just save it to my desktop. If you want to save it to a file, go there and go to the file and save it um but once you you know finally figure out where you want to save it you can actually rename it as well um it will be untitled png but you can name it just so that you recognize it i don't know maybe you want to change it to something else so you can just quickly change that by clicking on it and stuff but i'm going to leave it how it is and then you're going to go to save as image all right so save as image you know you saved it when it goes back to this screen over here all right so now we're all done with the rendering and if you want to get out of blender then simply just go to the x at the top and then quit quit anyway so now as you guys can see my roblox character is right here i'm going to hop onto pick monkey just to demonstrate and show you guys it is png which means transparent and that you can actually put it on the background and it looks awesome so i'm going to show you guys that right now okay so i have my background and now i want to add my roblox character that i just rendered from blender onto the background so you're going to go over to this butterfly over here so you're going to go to add your own and then my computer or my hub whatever you have and then desktop or wherever you saved it to whatever folder you saved it to open the folder and then select the image and then open so here's my roblox character 
all right as you guys can see it says untitled.png when it says png that means that it's transparent so then you're going to click on open and there you go so here is my roblox character also i just noticed that my cat ears um it looked like my cat ears weren't in the image when i was selecting it but it was there um that happens sometimes i don't know why but it just happens but here is my roblox character it's png you know it's png when it says dot png that's how you know i chose not to select the whole body so it cuts off right here um but you guys can you know extend it if you want you know show the whole body i usually don't because i make my roblox character so big where you don't need to even see the bottom part and that's how i render my roblox characters i really hope you guys enjoyed this video it was so highly recommended so i really hope you guys enjoyed it and again keep in mind this is my second tutorial so it's not going to be good it's not going to be the best um if you want a better tutorial that's more self-explanatory i really recommend watching creep crafts tutorial that's what helped me and yeah i really recommend it so anyways that is going to be it for today's video thank you guys so so much for watching if you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye guys